Your Excellency. Uh, the Black Comedy, Redemption of a Rogue, a little bit about the actor. We liked him so much, and especially in there, he's uh, absolutely mesmerized with uh, the guy. Mm. No, I think Aaron is absolutely brilliant in this. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, he is very deadpan, mm -hmm. it's very understated, uh, and there you get a real empathy with him. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, you. I think you feel what he has felt. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that thing of, uh, you know, being an out an outcast from your community, and from your family, also. And, and from not your only family. from the community. I mean, yes. the community becoming a family because it's a small one, which it's, is yes, yeah. It's a, it's very typical of a small Irish town. Mm -hmm. And actually, the story, even that story of people leaving the, the town and leaving the family, it has happened to people in the past. It happens everywhere. But in and it's happening in Romania, in too. So everywhere. they would uh, recognize themselves in there. Yes. It's a good mirror. In yes. There, yeah. uh, but I think it's this thing of leaving under a cloud and returning for a, a very... Um, uh, I mean, it's the father, the father mm -hmm. is dying, so mm -hmm. it's a very difficult family circumstance. Mm -hmm. And he's obviously not feeling well anyway. Uh, his mental health isn't great. So you, ha you have all of this going on. Mm -hmm. And then you have, I, uh, it is redemption. It's about recovery. But it's all, it is playing on those dark themes mm -hmm. that are almost a part of Irish life. Because Ireland can be a dark place as well as a lively and fun place. Uh, but we have our darkness, dark sides as well. And I think this comes through in our, our, our music, in, our, in almost every aspect of our culture. That is what uh, Enea remarked, first of all, that it's a lot of music. They said it's a musical. I haven't noticed so much the music. You see, probably for me, music, it's also dance. Mm. And it's not a very day-to-day um, -day, uh, music like we are thinking about Ireland. And I think that is very, very original to have this, uh, this kind of music. And, uh, yes, I think, I think the music is a really important mm -hmm. part of Irish community life. Is there redemption also music, I would say? Well, it's a well of um, redeeming uh, the it sins. Is, it is, mm -hmm. um, but I think for Irish people, and, and especially even in rural Ireland, and mm -hmm. I think especially rural Ireland, uh, music is a really important part of their lives. And it's not just, um, I mean, Irish music to an mm -hmm. extent, but also kind of American music. And, yeah. and I think the music that comes across in this is actually that kind of, you've, it's a feel a of a, a mixture. It's a feel yeah. of Irish and American music. And there is, there are blues, there is blues mm -hmm. in it. Um, and there, he is very blue, by he's the very way. Blue. So yes, yeah, but the yeah. music actually Set. really adds to the film and I think yeah. it really sets the tone of the film. And yes, it, and you have the atmosphere. And you and have yes, that atmosphere. There, yes. I think it's really effective and, it, and it's really good. Mm -hmm. I think music is actually really enjoyable mm -hmm. as you go through the film and as, as it plays out in the film. And there are some scenes where, uh, in the pub, where, uh, yeah. that are actually really funny uh, when somebody is singing and they're interrupted. And that's very typical of small town life in Ireland, I think. And there is no film, uh, Irish film without a, a pub, that's for sure. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it can form part of a movie yes, or form part yeah. of, of uh, a play or whatever. But uh, it's, it's, I think this take on mm -hmm. that... Mm -hmm that atmosphere is yeah. very effective and I it, think it, it really it's works. It's again a question of family, you know. We know that pub means public house and so on. It was a very big thing, that. And especially because in here in Romania we had first Irish pub, which in fact it wasn't just for drinks, it was also for eating and so on. So it's something uh, much more uh, complex than we are always thinking, okay, we go to a pub, pub or to a bar or so on. It's something... Um, to make friends or enemies sometimes, uh, to uh, meet uh, somebody you are going to be in love with. I, think, I mean, it's a very place where your destiny could change. Well, the Irish pub in, the, in an Irish town mm -hmm. is actually the centre of, of town life mm -hmm. and village life. Uh, so it, it plays a really important role in actually bringing communities together and, and just enabling people to talk. We don't have a cafe society yeah. 
we don't have terraces like you would have mm -hmm. in, in, it's in Romania. That's right, it's raining it. and it's cold. <laughs> and people like to be inside and yeah. they like the comfort and the coziness. To be cozy, yes, a, it's the of same word. Being that I inside. Was just thinking about it. Yes. Exactly. So, and it's that, and it's meeting friends and it's talking, just chatting to people. And it's not so much about the drink. The drink mm -hmm. is. It helps people talk. Yes, it, it, do, it, it helps yes, yes. conversation. It, helps yes, it, 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 it does it, that. Yes. But it's not about the drink. It's about yes. the atmosphere. It's about, and, and in Ireland, you know. Feeling a little bit happier. Maybe, you would have families it? going to yeah. pubs. It's not yeah. just a place for just people for men going and to drink. Uh, wives exactly. coming, where is my husband? Yes. I want to have him back <laughs> exactly. or sending a child. Father, would you come back? No, it's something different. It's something that different. Is, that's why I was just saying that Irish pub is something different to a bar or to a uh, simple... Well, pub. in Ireland, I know it can be different in different places, yeah. but in Ireland, it is definitely a place where communities gather mm -hmm. and where community life really is centred. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for there is that and there's the local sports club. And yeah. in Ireland, there's this sport, it's called Gaelic Athletics Association yes. and it's Gaelic football. And in this film, mm -hmm. he's, it starts why he becomes an outcast from society is because yeah. this is a parish he team. He missed it. He, <laughs> he, he, he gave away a goal. Yes, yes. He gave yes. away a goal. I Which think is something I and think it's, it's just, a, yeah. the worst sin possible. The worst yes. sin possible. Yes, uh, and yeah. in Ireland, the people take their Gaelic games extremely mm. seriously and to do this was definitely a crime hmm. against the village. But, yeah. uh, so it, it, it is that, but it's that thing of what is village life in Ireland about? And it's about sport and it's about pubs, pub life, mm -hmm. uh, and it's about communities and it's about engaging together and people getting on together. I was just curious to know if, uh, for example, for um, cinema halls, for movie houses in there, because uh, I've been in Dublin, I've been at the most elegant one, to Stella, for mm. example, and they have also inside and outside a sort of a pub together with the film. And I was uh, curious to know what's happening in small towns for the cinema. You have a pub nearby, you have in the hall of the cinema, or you are going first to the pub, then to the movies, or vice versa. I'm quite curious, and uh, if they are doing that, just on weekend or during yeah. the week too? I think in some ways it's unfortunate and mm -hmm. some ways it's fortunate, but Irish, Irish film going has, has kind of followed the world trends mm -hmm. where you have kind of um, cineplexes and mm -hmm. more, more Yes, screens. but you have also small cinemas uh, in, in yeah. small uh, villages like this one. You when can't I, have a yes. multiplex, I suppose. Well, when, when I was growing up, actually, we had a very small cinema okay. in a small village. What was the name and, of the oh, cinema? That, well, the name of the village was a place called Milltown in County Galway, uh -huh. which is a very small village. Mm -hmm. And, and the cinema's name was, there was a, name it, it really didn't have a name. It was, it <gasps> no. was, a, it was a place Nameless. that, exactly. It, yes. But it was a place where films were shown and uh, at weekends and stuff. And it was very homely and very, um, like it wasn't, there were no, it wasn't associated with the pub or anything like that, or even any, you know, it wasn't uh, Maybe with some popcorn sweets? or anything. No, 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 this was very nothing. much, you watched the cream. film. Okay. So, but it was that kind of thing. Rural Ireland at that time, you would have had a lot of towns mm -hmm. and a lot of villages would have had their own cinema, which would have been one screen cinema. Yeah. And that would have been where people went to. Mm -hmm. um, the world changed and multiplexes came in and cineplexes. Yeah, because and there are several titles and so on. You have exactly. where to choose or what to choose And people from. travel to the larger towns now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than go, you wouldn't really have a cinema in a small town anymore. You would go to the larger town. Like my, my hometown now is Galway, mm -hmm. and that would be a city of around 80,000 people, and it would have mm -hmm. a number of, mm -hmm. of cineplexes. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's kind of typical of the way modern cinema going has gone. Uh, so I don't think we're any different to the rest of the world. But when it was a small one, so when you were a child, so, mm. so you went on weekends with your family, I suppose, or with your friends? With friends, School yeah. friends, okay. Yeah. Were you discussing afterwards in school about the films or just when you went out from the cinema halls? Um, in those days, uh, I suppose, the Irish education system in those days was quite closed. Uh -huh. And it wasn't, it isn't, people 
weren't didn't have free as free a thinking I think mm -hmm. in terms of schooling That's it was very directive yes. and it was very you learned your your mm -hmm. lessons so you didn't have free discussion the, there at were schools. schools for boys and schools for girls I, when I was growing up uh, in our schools up to 12 mm -hmm. years of age, uh, it was all mixed, especially mm -hmm. in rural areas. Uh, and then when once you went to second, what we call secondary mm -hmm. school, 12 years of age, uh, it became single sex schools. Wow. Uh -huh. And that's changing in Ireland, but mm -hmm. it's not completely changed yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, in terms of, you know, where discussions went, you went to the movie, the, the film mm -hmm. with your friends and that was it. You talked about with your friends, you acted out the film with uh -huh. your friends, That's but your school was a different mm -hmm. place, which was actually yeah, a, a more, more serious, more okay. serious. Yes. Uh -huh. And just less free thinking than the mm -hmm. world of today, especially mm -hmm. in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Ireland has changed uh, so and much. How many children were in a classroom, for example? In our time, it would have been about 30, 30, 30. 35. Something oh, like that. quite a lot. Yes. We were th these schools were actually very small. You might only have two or three teachers in, uh -huh, a, in a whole I school, see. you know. So it was, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. it was just the times that were in it. Any foreign language? No, you Irish, thought? Irish, and English. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we learned <laughs> Irish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you were studying that. Well, we yes, yes. Were you studying music also? Um, because it's a lot of music in There's a lot films, of music, yes. but people didn't, in my, again, in my time, people didn't tend to study music at school. You, mm, no. you learned uh -huh. music outside school. So oh. you actually, at weekends, we would, have, we would have learned music and gone to music school. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, that was kind of particular to the time I grew up in and mm -hmm. the places. Could you play any instrument? I, I played the button accordion when I was young. Ah. But I've forgotten all about it now, but it was great. No, we are not going to no, no, no. Uh, ask that. But I did, you. and it was, uh, yeah, it was really good. It was really an enjoyable experience. Yeah. And we played Irish tunes and that kind of stuff, so it was really good. Mm -hmm. And now, nowadays, you are going to the movies uh, on weekends, not now, during the pandemic, before the no. pandemic, yes, of course. No. Just on weekends or even uh, during the week or just once a month? Well, uh, I suppose when I was in Ireland and before the pandemic, we would have mm -hmm. gone weekly, pretty much weekly. weekly. We would have gone something mm -hmm. to something mm -hmm. every week. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, it's just... Uh, you know, yes, of course, now everything it's changed. Just and I think our and best friend is TV. Yes, and our best friend almost is Netflix at this stage. Yes, of course. <laughs> so yes, <and> yes, yes. <laughs> I think we're all in this world at the moment. Uh, could you recommend us uh, an Irish film from Netflix, maybe? Do you think? If there is seen something or actually uh, recently seen uh, it's a film you enjoyed on Netflix recently. It's funny that um, actually I've, I've watched a fair number of documentaries recently on Netflix and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I, I, they're the ones that people would mm -hmm. watch anyway. Um, I suppose um, I'm not sure if people I got it on on the the um, the local channel in Ireland, mm -hmm. but Sally Rooney's Normal People. Mm -hmm. I don't know, think people have seen that here yet. Yeah, and uh, that is just a fantastic series. It's uh, but it's it's really really good. Mm -hmm. But Netflix is as important as it is in here. I I mean, oh, it is. It's like important, but in in Ireland, mm -hmm. this this is a co-production between uh -huh. Irish Television and BBC. Okay. And it it was it was very successful in the UK, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if, if it was in America, but it's it's been very successful. Mm -hmm. But it is it's really enjoyable, and people would I think be f familiar with Sally Rooney's work now through mm -hmm. through that series. Uh, nice. That was the television series from last year, I think it was. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, that, that's, Because the clever know. idea of Netflix was to, uh, to have also films and TV series. Yes. So it's more than... Uh, because oh, it's a it's mixture a of cinema and television at the same time on the same channel and so on. And always uh, intended to, um, to know already what you'd enjoy and so on. I think it's a very clever... It is, uh, oh, it, is. it really is. Yes, and I suppose... Because I'm here now, I've actually watched more Romanian yeah, <laughs> and Romanian yeah. documentaries. Yes. And I think the standard of, of mm -hmm. film and, and documentaries in Romania is just so high at the moment. And of course, I saw it collective, mm -hmm. the documentary yeah. collective twice. I think it was really powerful and mm -hmm. a really important film. And uh, so there, there, but there is a lot of stuff coming out of Romania that is really interesting and really, really good. Mm, yeah. Um, mm. I'm quite glad. 
So, uh, what about Christmas? Are you leaving for Ireland or staying here? Um, leaving, I think, on the 23rd or the uh -huh. 20th, maybe Christmas Eve. Uh, uh -huh. But the, I'll be the here. Eve I'll, of the Eve, we are exactly. calling that in I'll, Romania. I'll be yes, here yeah? right, right until yes. Christmas, uh -huh. almost uh -huh. Christmas Day, and then I'll go back to Ireland for three weeks. Oh, yes. nice. So it'll be, it'll okay. be nice to get back again. It's been a while. Yeah, so yeah. that's for sure. So, I wish you a very Happy Christmas in there. Thank you for letting us uh, having you and your films and Ireland that we love so much. So um, a nice fir tree, a greener one, <laughs> and um, a very nice to 2022. Thanks, Irina, and I hope 2022 is, is good for all of us. I'm quite and sure. And I hope uh, you have, and everybody has a, a very happy Christmas as it's well. It's a twin year, no? Yes. Two, two, two twin years. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. yes. Okay. And I hope everybody watches Redemption mm -hmm. of a Rogue. For sure. They have plenty of things to discover in there. I really enjoy it. Thank for you. For sure. Thank you.